Are you ready to embark on a journey back to 1966, when television screens first flickered to life with the iconic series, Mission Impossible? This espionage thriller not only redefined the genre, but also left an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this TV series? Perhaps you were captivated by its intricate plots or the suave charm of its characters. Or maybe you were drawn to the suspenseful missions that unfolded each week. Out of the many roles in this TV series, which one was your favorite? Whether it was the enigmatic leader, Jim Phelps, the tech-savvy Barney Collier, or the master of disguise, role in hand, each character brought a unique flavor to the show. Share your thoughts in the comments below. We would love to hear your stories and memories. Now, let's set the stage with some random facts about the show. Mission Impossible was known for its distinctive self-destructing mission tapes, the pulsating theme music composed by Lalo Skifrin, and the ingenious gadgets that added a touch of magic to the missions. The show was a thrilling mix of espionage, suspense, and the thrill of the unknown. So, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series? Whether it's a family tradition of watching it together or a special moment that the show sparked, we're eager to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your love for Mission Impossible and keep the conversation alive. The TV series Mission Impossible from 1966 had a distinctive way of delivering mission instructions to its team. Although the IMF typically received instructions from a self-destructing reel-to-reel tape, the first two seasons often used alternative methods. In early episodes, team leaders Dan Briggs and Jim Phelps got their mission details from sources like records and filmstrip projectors. Interestingly, the tape scenes for each episode were filmed in one go at the beginning of each season, and even the cast members, like Peter Graves, didn't know which episode would use which tape scene until it aired. This unique approach to delivering mission briefings added an extra layer of intrigue to the show, keeping viewers guessing about how the next mission would begin. Mission Impossible remains a classic series known for its inventive storytelling and memorable characters. As of 2022, Peter Lupus and Sam Elliott are the only surviving regular male cast members, and female cast members Barbara Bain, Linda Day George, and Leslie Ann Warren are also still living. This enduring legacy stands as a testament to the show's enduring popularity and the talents of its cast. Peter Lupus, a key member of the 1966 TV series Mission Impossible, found a unique opportunity in the show. Before this series, he had been known as Rock Stevens in European Sword and Sandal Movies, often playing roles that relied heavily on his physique. However, Mission Impossible allowed him to work under his own name and act in a role that went beyond just physical prowess. It marked a significant shift in his acting career and helped him break free from the constraints of his previous roles. This series, created by Bruce Jeller, was known for its dedication to maintaining the illusion of the characters. In fact, Jeller didn't want any of the regular cast members to make appearances on talk shows during the show's run. This decision aimed to make viewers believe that the actors were the characters they portrayed, adding an extra layer of authenticity to the show. The show's attention to detail even extended to the characters' personal lives. Among the team, only Barney Collier was shown to have a relative, his brother, Lawrence. This personal connection added depth to the characters and allowed for engaging storylines, like the one where Lawrence was murdered in Season 5, Episode 15, titled Cat's Paw. These behind-the-scenes details, along with the show's inventive storytelling and memorable characters, have contributed to the enduring popularity of Mission Impossible, making it a classic in the world of television. The TV series Mission Impossible from 1966 holds a unique record in the world of English-language spy series. With 171 episodes, it surpasses all its rivals, including The Avengers, which came closest with 161 episodes. This impressive episode count contributed to the show's lasting legacy and popularity. In addition to its record-breaking episode count, the series also had a distinctive element that often appeared on screen. A large, white, ornate archway with a metal gate seen in numerous episodes was, in reality, the old main gate at Paramount Pictures Studios, where the series was filmed. This gate served as a versatile backdrop, frequently standing in as the entrance to a prison within the show. 
Furthermore, the practice of reusing actors and actresses was common in television shows of the 1960s. Mission Impossible was no exception, featuring familiar faces like John Vernon and William Wyndham in various roles throughout the series. This practice added a sense of continuity and familiarity for viewers. These unique aspects, along with the show's inventive storytelling, and memorable characters solidified Mission Impossible status as a classic in the world of television. When the show began, Ford was the main supplier of cars. During the later seasons, Chrysler was the main supplier, and in the final seasons, it was GM. This transition in car suppliers was a notable aspect of the 1966 TV series Mission Impossible, reflecting changes in the automotive industry during the show's run. It added a touch of realism to the series as the characters used different vehicles in different seasons, adapting to the times. This change in car brands is just one of the many intriguing details that contribute to the show's enduring popularity. After five seasons of stories of international intrigue, the IMF spent the final two seasons going after American gangsters. This shift marked a significant change in the 1966 TV series Mission Impossible. In its earlier seasons, the show was known for its globe-trotting missions and espionage against foreign adversaries. However, as the series progressed, it took on a different focus by targeting American criminals. This change in narrative direction added a fresh dimension to the show's storytelling, showcasing the team's versatility and handling diverse missions. Fans of the series witnessed a shift from international espionage to domestic crime fighting, providing a new perspective on the IMF as capabilities. This evolution in the show's content demonstrated its ability to adapt and remain engaging over the course of its seven-season run. The IMF, as pursuit of American gangsters during the final two seasons brought a unique twist to Mission Impossible, making it a memorable chapter in the series' history. In Season 1, Episode 2, Memory, Briggs did not receive his instructions via tape or film strip projector, but on a card handed to him by a photographer. This unusual approach to mission briefings was just one example of the creative storytelling in the 1966 TV series Mission Impossible. Throughout its seven-season run, the show was known for its innovative methods and attention to detail. The series creator, Bruce Jeller, played a significant role in shaping the show's iconic opening credits. The faceless figure striking a match in those credits was, in fact, Bruce Jeller himself. It wasn't until the 1988 revival of the series that an established character was shown lighting the match. This small but intriguing detail added a personal touch to the show's introduction. When selecting agents from the IMF, folder, the pictures of the agents chosen for the mission were almost always in color, while rejected agents' pictures were in black and white. This subtle visual cue reinforced the meticulous nature of the show and the high-stakes world in which the characters operated. These behind-the-scenes insights shed light on the thought and creativity that went into making the 1966 TV series Mission Impossible a classic in the world of television. From unique mission briefings to the personal touch in the opening credits, the series was full of distinctive elements that contributed to its enduring popularity. As we conclude our journey through the iconic 1966 TV series Mission Impossible, we invite you to take a moment and reflect on the profound impact this show has had on your life. Whether you're a lifelong fan, a recent convert, or just curious, there's something undeniably magnetic about the daring escapades of the Impossible Missions Force. Perhaps you recall the suspenseful moments when the self-destructing tape delivered its cryptic message. Maybe the clever disguises, the intricate heists, or the brilliant teamwork of the IMF agents left an indelible mark on your memory. It's in these unforgettable moments that we find our personal connection with the series, a connection that has lasted for decades. Now, we encourage you to share your favorite memories, thoughts, or even the ways Mission Impossible has inspired your own life's missions. Let's celebrate the enduring legacy of this classic show and the joy it has brought to so many. Thank you for joining us on this adventure down memory lane. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated, and your stories are what make this journey even more special. Keep the memories alive, and keep embracing your missions, however impossible they may seem.